basically when you take the plasma layer, the platelet pore plasma layer, there's a lot of albumin that's found in there and you can basically take this concentration and you can denature the proteins by heating it. And so what you do here is you take the platelet pore layer, okay, after the spin cycle, and you put that in a bioheat device. The bioheat device is going to heat the proteins. When the proteins are then heated, okay, they get denatured, and then you're going to combine them back in together with the platelet-rich layer, which is the rich buffy coat layer, and I'll show this step by step in the following slides, okay. We will proceed in module 9 to do a live demo of what it looks like, and this produces the Alpuref. So if you look here, when you look at this, you can tell that the Alpuref is obviously a lot more dense, but it's still a gel. It's injectable and it's a gel. And we can create these Alpuref membranes. Uh, here's an animal study that was done by uh, Professor Murau out in Brazil, where he's shown very effectively in this nice animal model how the Alpuref can last significantly longer than uh, platelet-rich fibrin or liquid Puref. Here's an animal model. This is uh, several weeks after PRF has been implanted. Uh, on one side, they've done PRF. On the other side, they've done the ALPRF. And you can see here that the ALPRF is really hanging on for a long period of time. Again, when they raise these flaps and take a look at it, you can really see that it's integrating very nicely. There's angiogenesis that's occurring around the ALPRF. Again, it's staying there weeks slash months after it's been implanted. So very, very cool technology. And of course, this is something that we're using and teaching today in facial aesthetics, as well as for making barrier membranes that last much longer. So the way the protocol works, after you've isolated the uh, protocol, you pull out the platelet pore layer. You're going to heat this protein for 10 minutes and then you're going to let it cool down for another 5 to 10 minutes. Look at the difference in the consistency between Alpuref, or I should say albumin gel, and the liquid Puref here. You're then going to mix them together. So here we use a female-female lure lock and essentially what you're doing is you're pushing this back and forth. So here's a little video here. Uh, you can see on one side there's the albumin gel, on the other side you have the liquid Puref with all the cells and you're mixing them back together, back and forth. One of the reasons why we want to do this, of course, is because when you heat proteins, you're going to destroy all the proteins, you're going to denature them, and of course, no cells are going to survive. In this technique here, you're heating proteins for 75 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Uh, of course, the cells are dying. And what we do is we take the platelet pore layer with no cells, no growth factors, we heat it, we know everything's going to die anyway, so it's been heated, and then you take the platelet-rich layer and you mix them back together thereafter, and that's when you create what we call ALB-PRF, okay? So that's kind of the protocol there. Again, that's what's being used as an injectable filler now. This will last half a year, so it's a natural way to do some of these facial aesthetic procedures without having to uh, utilize different types of uh, toxins or biomaterials. Take a look at the consistency here. Here I am, I'm injecting it on just a plastic uh, tray. So you can see that it's got a completely different consistency. It's much more like a gel as opposed to a liquid. So we have to inject, of course, with slightly larger gauge needles. But again, the advantage here, totally natural, okay? And it's gonna last much longer. So this lasts instead of two to three weeks, four to six months. And here it is here, another video. Uh, it's fully biocompatible, like I said, when you use it, look at this, you know, it's got a sticky consistency, we can make different shapes, um, we can do a lot of cool stuff with this, and I think when we look at the future, you know, this may one be, day be considered kind of a third generation platelet concentrate. It's got a couple more steps, right, so it takes a little bit longer to produce this, but for things like facial aesthetics, when you can save two, three hundred dollars on the fillers, or in the other fields, you know, such as covering titanium meshes, uh, or something where you really want something that's going to last a long period of time, you know, it's going to provide new opportunities for clinicians in that field. And so we're excited to carry out more research on this topic. Uh, today we have the BioHeat and it comes with these specifically custom designed trays. Uh, these trays are designed in the specific sizes of typical collagen barrier membranes. So again, you can take a 30 by 40 membrane, collagen membrane that you're used to using, making a similar type of membrane uh, using the Alpuref technology here. So again, this is from Dr. Kobayashi's most recent paper. Uh, after the protocol, you pull out the liquid Puref from the upper layer, okay? You're going to heat that, and then the layer that's closer to the Buffy coat, that's where all the cells are, you're going to mix that back in later. 
So after this uh, heating period for 10 minutes, you are then going to take the Alb Pure F and the Liquid Pure F and you're going to mix this back and forth and then you've created this injectable Alb Pure F, which is what's being utilized in facial aesthetics. Mm -hmm.